In my previous video, we have learned about how to solve simultaneous equations using substitution method. Have you mastered it yet? In this video, I will show you step by step on how to solve simultaneous equations using elimination method and we'll start right now. Hello everyone, my name is Shirley and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here and you'd like to improve in your maths skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at the first question. For question 1, solve the following simultaneous equation by using elimination method. So given two equations here, which are 3a minus b equals to 10 and a plus b equals to 6. So first of all, I'm going to write this down over here, which is 3a minus b equals to 10. I label this as equation 1. And a plus b equals to 6, equation 2. And then we see what we can eliminate. So we can eliminate the b, so by adding the two equations together. So 3a plus a, we get 4a. So negative b plus b is 0, and we don't have to write the 0. So equals 10 plus 6 is equal to 16. So 4a equals to 16, we're going to solve a. So a will be 16 divided by 4, so therefore a is equal to 4. And then we substitute this into equation 2 to get the value of b. Okay, so a plus b equals to 6. So 4 plus b equals to 6. So b is equals to 6. So 4 shift over to the right hand side become minus 4. So b is equals to 2. So therefore a is equals to 4 and b equals to 2. So that's the answer. For question 2, solve the following simultaneous equation by using elimination method. So given two equations here, which are 7v minus 12w equals to 39 and 5v minus 4w equals to 5. So first of all, I'm going to write down the two equations over here. So 7v minus 12w equals to 39 and this is going to be equation 1 and 5v minus 4w equals to 5 and this is equation 2. So, if you have to use elimination method, we have to change this to become 12w. So, in order to change this to 12, we have to multiply by 3 all the terms in equation 2. So, equation 2 multiplied by 3, okay? So, 5v times 3 is 15v. Negative 4w times 3 is negative 12w equals 5 times 3 is 15. And this is equation 3. After that, I'm going to move the equation 1 over here. So 7v minus 12w equals to 39. Okay, this is equation 1. And then we can start to eliminate the 12w. So negative 12w, should we plus or minus to eliminate the w? So for this case, we minus. Okay, so because negative 12w minus minus become plus 12w, we get 0. So 15v minus 7v, we get 8v, so equals 15 minus 39, we get negative 24. So now we can solve v. So v is equals to negative 24 divided by 8. So v is equals to negative 3. After that, we have to find the value of w. I'm going to substitute this into equation 1. So substitute v equals to negative 3 into equation 1. So equation 1 is 7v minus 12w equals to 39. So 7 times with negative 3 minus 12w equals to 39. So 7 times negative 3 is negative 21 minus 12w equals to 39. So negative 12w equals to 39 so negative 21 shift over become plus 21. So negative 12w equals to, so 39 plus 21 is 60. And then w is equals to 60 divided by negative 12. So we get 
W is equal to negative 5. Okay, so therefore, V is equal to negative 3 and W is equal to negative 5. So that's the final answer. For question 3, solve the following simultaneous equation by using elimination method. So given these two equations, which are 0.5x plus 0.8y equals to 0.2 and 0.3x plus 0.2y equals to 0.75. So first of all, I'm going to label this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. So I'm going to write it down over here. So 0.5x plus 0.8y equals to 0.2 and this is equation 1 and 0.3x plus 0.2y equals to 0.75 and this equation 2 okay and then let's look at these two all these are in decimals so I'm going to multiply by 10 for all the terms okay for equation 1 and 2 to get rid of the decimal okay so equation 1 multiplied by 10 so I will get 5x plus 8y equals to 2 and this one I label as equation 3 and then for equation 2 I also multiply by 10 for each term so it'll be 3x plus 2y equals to 7.5 and this one I label as equation 4 and then we compare equation 3 and 4 see what we can eliminate so I want to change this to 8y because it's 8y okay so later I'm going to eliminate the 8y so for this I'm going to multiply by 4 so equation 4 multiplied by 4 we get 12x plus 8y and 7.5 times 4 is 30 and it's not labeled as equation 5 okay and then we're going to solve equation 5 and 3 so I'm going to bring these two equations down here so it'll be 12x plus 8y equals to 30 and 5x plus 8y equals to 2 okay and then we're going to solve this so in order to eliminate the 8y I'm going to minus okay so 12x minus 5x is 7x 8y minus 8y is 0 and 30 minus 2 is 28 so let's solve this so x is 28 divided by 7 and x is equals to 4 and then we have to solve the value of y so in order to find y I'm going to substitute x equals to 4 into equation 3 so 5x plus 8y equals to 2 so I'm going to substitute this 4 into here become 5 bracket 4 plus 8y equals to 2 so 5 times 4 is 20 plus 8y equals to 2 so 8y equals to 2 so plus 20 here shift over become minus 20 so become 8y equals to negative 18 and y equals to so negative 18 divided by 8 and then we simplify this so therefore y is negative 9 over 4 so therefore x is equals to 4 and y is equals to negative 9 over 4 and this is the final answer well that's all for now do you understand what you have learned today let me know in the comments below. If you find this video useful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys will keep on learning, keep on practicing and keep on watching my videos and I hope to see you guys in my next videos. Bye guys!